All right. So in this case, we are going to consider a typical exam question uh, working uh, still on our straight line graphs, guys. We are still working on our revision. So there we are still on our graphs. We are given. Question number four. Uh, that's the information that we are given. So let's see how the statement, because we have got a statement there about the information. They are saying the graph above shows the number of fridges sold by a shop between January and June of 2020. Refer to the graph, meaning to say whatever must be taken from the graph to answer the questions. You must take the information from the graph. So you can even interpret this graph to see what was happening in January, what is the corresponding number of fridges in February, in March, in April, in May, in June, and so on, just straight to the graph. Then you can take the numbers that are corresponding of the fridges that we are given. So the first part of our question is 4.11. How many fridges were sold in February? So you just need straight in the month of February. This is what we are going to need here in this month. This is where we have got our February here. So straight to the graph. At this point, what is the corresponding value, which is from the number of what? Of fridges that you're given. So you can see the corresponding value there was going to be a 30. Straight to the graph, it was going to correspond to a 30. So meaning to say we sold 30 fridges in this month. All right. 4.12, between which months did the sale of fridges decrease? So... A decrease can be noticed. This is going up. That's an increase. We are going up. Whenever it is like this, that's an increase. When you are like this from a point that is at this, then you're going down like this. That's a, a decrease. So we simply need to notice where these cells were going down. That's a decrease. So if we notice the first part, it is going up. That's an increase. But the second phase from this point here up to this point, it is going down. That's a decrease. So meaning to say we have got a decrease here. It is going up again. As you can see, there is going up. Then we can see a decrease again from this graph. It is going down. That's a decrease again. There on the last phase, it is going up. So that is an increase at the end. So the decrease happened between this phase and this phase. There is a decrease. So it's between which months? So between which months? The first phase, this one, it is between the month of Feb and March. Between the Feb and March. The corresponding there, it's Feb and this is March. So between February and, and March. So that is where our decrease, the first decrease is. It is between uh, the month, uh, the month of uh, February and March. And March. So the first part that's of Feb and March. But we saw that there is another decrease again here on top. This that's a decrease there. So it's between which months? Again, we must consider that was between uh, the month of uh, April and May. If you take this is April here and this is May. So between April and May there is a decrease also. So there is also a decrease uh, between April and May. So it's also between April and May. There was a decrease there. So that was uh, our question. Then from there, how many more fridges from the information that you're given, how many more were sold in May than in January? So it's a comparison, the difference between those ones which were sold in May and those ones which were sold in January. So from our graph, we just need these two months, the May and the January. So from our graph, if we go straight, remember already we talked about this May here, straight to the graph, then we correspond to the value that is there, which is at 30. So May is corresponding at 30. What about January? January, this is the first part here. It is corresponding at what? at 25. So this is corresponding at 25. So as you can see, there is a difference between, that is we can tell how many more, the difference between these two, 25 and 30. So that is simply 30 minus uh, 25, which is going to give us uh, five. 
So there was a difference of five. 4.14 is the data shown in the graph. Is this information, which is our data shown in the graph, discrete or continuous? Explain your answer. So we do understand that discrete information is that we count, whereas continuous is measurable. So let's consider the fridges, guys. These are countable fridges. We're talking of number of fridges. One, two, three, four. You cannot have a, a fridge like one and a half a fridge or two and a half or two and a quarter or two comma two comma five or three comma seven. These are counting values, number of people, number of students in a class. This is a discrete information, countable or counting information that we are given there. All right, so that is the discrete in this case. The information represented there, the fridges, they cannot be like divided into two. Or we cannot have the, those decimals. These are counting information, free, fridges, these are counting values. We are talking about uh, exact figures you can count. So that is uh, fridges represents or uh, represent, uh, so you can just say, uh, represent exact, these are exact figures you can count. All right, that is the figures that you can count. One, two, three, four, counting values. You cannot have it like 1,5 or 2,5 or 2,3, no. So that is discrete information. So the other one now, the opposite to that is the continuous one. All right. So 4.2, we are given the graph that is the equation, given the equation of y is equal to x plus 3 from this equation. Complete the table. So like I said, they can give you as the equation. They can say the formula is just one and the same thing. You substitute these x values into where x is. So we are going to have the first one, y is equal to where x is minus 2. That's minus 2 plus 3. So y was going to be 1. So just substitute when x is minus 1 in place of the x, you substitute minus 1. Minus 1 plus 3, that was a 2. When x is a 0 in place of x, that's 0 plus 3, which is a 3. When x is 1, 1 plus 3, that's a 4. When x is 2, 2 plus a 3, that was going to give us a 5. We just substitute information. Then using that information, they are saying, use the points from that table that you had to draw the graph on the Cartesian plan provided this plan, Cartesian plan. We have the Cartesian plan. From there, we are asked to draw this graph. So you simply have to mark the points. Remember, our first class, the presentation of points, how to label the points, mark the points. X is minus two, Y is a one. So where X is minus two and Y is a one, they meet at this point, X minus two, Y being a one, they meet at this point. Remember X values, but it must be negative. Y values, but it must be a positive. The next point that's minus one, two, X is minus one, Y is two. X is minus one, Y is two. They meet at this point, you mark your point. Uh, the other one that's zero three, X is zero, Y is three. That is a Y intercept. Remember, where x is equal to zero. We are talking about the y-intercept there at uh, three. So that is mark in the y-axis. Uh, the next one, one, four, x is one, and y is a four. That's x is one, y is four. These two, they meet at this point. x is one, y is four. Where they meet, you mark a point. Another point, two, five. Where x is two, y is going to be a five. So you mark where x is two, y is a five. They meet at this point. These points, they are going to form a straight line by joining these points. We are going to have a straight line in that case. So that is how you can draw a straight line by simply joining the points. So that is the line of y is equal to x plus 3. You can just write the equation of the line y is equal to x plus 3. That's just like that. So you can be given equation from that. You can use the table. Method as because already that is the one that you're given there. Remember, I talked about the table method and also the dual intercept method. So it depends with the method that you're given there. There we are asked from the table. So you continue from that table. Meaning you say we are working 
with the table method. So these are the typical questions that you must expect in your exams uh, for Medicine African Motives till we meet again.